Alliance for Community Action presents a radio drama entitled Let's Participate. So listen and participate. Madam Makin, I have noticed that you don't look very happy nowadays. Most of the time you look very thoughtful. What is bothering you, Kans? To be honest with you, Mr. Zimba, I'm not happy with the state of affairs at this school. Right now, I am feeling very stressed. I'm even regretting why I left the private school to come and join the government. Hmm. Why, madam? What is happening? Is there something that I don't know? Surely, Mr. Zimba, how can one classroom have more than 100 pupils? Ah, <coughs> Miss Makina, is that the reason? I thought you were worried about something else. What do you expect with free education? Look, free education ni mwameni, Mr. Zimba, but something must be done about overcrowding in classrooms. Look, madam, this situation is not only here, but in almost all the government schools. You know what? I advise you to concentrate on teaching, not on something that is beyond your control. Ah, this is too much. It affects us teachers and even the learners themselves. Hi, comrades. How are you doing? Is everything all right? <laughs> Mrs. Mwenda... There is a complaint here. Miss Makina is traumatized. She needs counseling. This is what I'm trying to do. Serious, Miss Makina? What has happened? Ah, don't worry, Madam Wenda. It is not that serious. My health is intact. Ah, she's complaining about high numbers in classroom Zai. It's your chin to Mwandi. Allah, you can fall sick for you. Today, I felt very bad when I went to the grade 5 classrooms. I found the pupils sweating. Some are on the desks and others on the floor. The situation is bad, but as teachers, we just have to cope with it. Mind you, no one chose us to be teachers. Our job is to teach. Those who pass, who pass. pass. And those who have problems with concentration, they'll be failing. That's life. Mm. <laughs> I think we should express our concerns and feelings to the headmaster. He must present the matter to the higher office. Look, the situation affects the quality of education. Miss Makina, do you think that big-headed man will even listen to us? I don't think so. <laughs> That's why me, I just go to the bar and get drunk when I'm feeling frustrated. Just imagine. And when you complain, they'll take it that you are just trying to be difficult. Naka force transfer kanga kuka so? No, just like any other person, we as teachers have the rights to freedom of expression, which includes freedom to hold opinions and to receive and impart ideas and information without interference. Mm. With a good approach, I think the headmaster and the school management can listen to us. Go and try, Madam Makin. I can guarantee you that our headmaster's answer won't be good. Don't forget that you're just a junior teacher. you even be more traumatized at last. I guess his answer will be that, do you want to deny their children's rights to education? <laughs> <laughs> the rights to education is what we all promote. And the government has done well to see to it that every child has an opportunity. What we should be advocating for now is progressive realization of human rights. Hey, those scientific terms, hey, what do you mean? Hey, ma sure. The progressive realization of human rights is a concept in international human rights law that refers to the gradual implementation of economic, social, and cultural rights over time. It is based on the idea that states an obligation to take steps to achieve the full realization of these rights, even if they cannot be immediately realized. Okay, I didn't know about ha. it. Please educate us, Madam Makin. The obligation to fulfill requires the states to adopt appropriate legislative, administrative, and other measures towards the full realization of human rights. The realization of human rights must become the object of a policy aimed at improving them. Policies must be put in place extensively in order to make progressive towards fulfilling them. Really? Ah, this is great. Very great. Yes. Now, Madam Makina, could you kindly give examples in simple terms? I want to hear more. For example, the government has fulfilled its obligation for the rights to education now in progressive realization of human rights. We want to see to it that there is enough schools to accommodate all the children without, living, uh, without having them overclouding in classrooms or having others learning under a tree. We also want to see to it that we have enough teachers in schools. Mm. Remember, the teacher to pupil ratio is very important. very important. All the pupils must sit on decks or chairs. They must have enough books to read and write on. Okay, this is great. In fact, we should progress from using a blackboard to a whiteboard and then a projector. Now, ap apart from education, what other examples can you give us, Madam Makina? 
You see, it is not enough to just have a right to something. Yes. Let's take the right to health, for example. Mm-hmm. There is need to see to it that we have enough hospitals to avoid overcrowding, mm. enough doctors to attend to patients, enough medicine, enough equipment for tests and quality health care in general. Ah, Miss Mwenda, now I see why it is important to present our concern to the head teacher mm. and the entire school management. Me too, Bazimba Mwanti. There is need for government to move beyond the minimum levels of services provision. We need to realize progressive human rights. Yes, indeed. Let's Participate was brought to you by the Alliance for Community Action. In this episode, Ms. Makina was Esther Banda. Mr. Zimba was Limbika Nisakala. Mrs. Mwenda was Messi Naurapla. It was directed by Taunga Temboliwewe.